Greetings, vacuum enthusiasts who might be interested in any of these three particular brands. And welcome to a video in which we will accomplish two things. So these machines are all very similar in at least two aspects. One is they have aluminum brush rolls with replaceable brush strips. And according to the rating sticker on the back of each one of these machines, they all run at a nominal 12 amps. Now, when manufacturers rate machines power usage, they don't really say under what conditions it runs at that particular power rating. So that could be a little low, a little high, that could be not on the carpet, running on the carpet with a power nozzle, with attachments, whatever it is, we don't really know, it just says 12 amps. And let's take a look at the brush roll speeds. So I have a secondary camera sitting over there and it's gonna give us the current draw for each one of these machines. And obviously it's going to be a static current draw. We're not gonna be uh, running it on the carpet. Usually running it on carpet for this type of machine will increase the current a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of each one of these rating plates, the, the stickers themselves. And I'll show you what each one of them says. So here's the underbelly of the Simplicity Symmetry. And if we go up to the little rating sticker, you can clearly see 120 volts AC, 60 hertz, 12 amps. Now going over to the Recar 8850, there's the brush roll. And going up to the rating sticker, you see power, 12 amps. And then, lastly, if we go over to the Panasonic, there's the brush roll. And then go over to its rating sticker. A little tinier print. I hope I can get that. All right, 120 volt AC, 60 hertz, 12 amps. So let's see what these brush rolls spin at, and I'll give you some current readings uh, in one part of the screen that you can take a look at at the same time. First up, the Simplicity Symmetry. I hope you can see that. Away we go. It was funny seeing really high numbers there for a second, wasn't it? So 5,900 something rather. So now let's move on to the green Ricard. And I have to move my remote switch with me. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, around 4400 and if you took a look at the current draw seem to be around 10 and a half amps nowhere near 12 all right let's move over a little bit farther and do the 
Panasonic Last. Got to move my light a little bit. Okay, here we go. if I can get an angle that works. Alright, that'll work. So I kind of put off actually testing some of these aluminum brush rolls because it's obviously a reflective surface. And what this does is it shoots uh, an infrared beam on that and then with the little reflective tape that I put on it right there, it reflects it back into this detection uh, hole right there and then this counts it. Well, unfortunately, because this whole thing is reflective, uh, sometimes you got to fiddle with it just a little bit in order to make sure that you're counting the correct pulses. And it's not just looking at a mirror going, I don't know what to count. So you see ridiculous numbers and whatnot. So uh, 5,200 something or other. And did you take a, a note of the current draw? So I'll go ahead and put all three of these machines their current draw and their brush roll speeds in the video now and you can see basically where we're at Let's see I can probably move that up so I have room to put that toward the top of the frame so now you can see what each one draws for current despite being rated at a nominal 12 amps and you can see what each one uh, runs at for their brush roll speeds. All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.